What's up everyone, how's everyone doing today? It's your boy Brian with the Y and welcome to my first FIFA 19 video guys. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best 50k team that you could make. It's La Liga. You could get players that you know are really good like Messi, not Ronaldo anymore because he left but you could get Messi, Bale, you know, uh, you could get Griezmann. So a lot of great players that you could get with this team especially with the league. And um, yeah guys, so this team, if you guys are, aren't too sure if you want to start the team or not, I just want to let you guys know, this team is a very good team, has a very good, uh, you know, balanced midfield, it's, it's pretty much balanced guys, and with the right tactics, with the right chemistry styles, this team could suit your needs, and you know, because I mean, this team is built for my needs, but I mean, like, I'm gonna show you guys what you could do if you, you know, you play, I don't know, possession style, you want to do on a counter attack, I can show you guys. But anyways guys, let's start with the team. Now, on the goalkeeping position, we got Sergio, uh, Sergio, uh, 85 diving, 83 handling, you know, 84 reflexes, 82 positioning, you know, I'm just mean, pretty good stats, guys. Now, obviously, you know, it shows a, uh, a negative because, I mean, he's the only player on the team, but yeah guys, he's been very good for me. He's only played six games for me, but he, we haven't conceded a single goal guys six clean sheets since he's came and you know he, we, he's 6'2 so you know he's, he's decent in height uh, traditional safe star he's a, he's, a, he's a righty you know decent weak foot and yeah guys it's a very good keeper if you want to get a La Liga team now guys we go into the defense you know we got Alex Teles the only player that's out of La Liga in this team uh, we got pa Paulista we got Jimenez and we got Carvajal now this defense should cost you around let's see Alex Teles cost me 10k yeah this team should this defense should cost you at um around 20k 20 25k now i mean this you know we, we need a good defense you know to be able to win win games because defense win games guys so you know alex Tellis has been very good for me uh the reason i got him is be basically because i don't know i just felt that he was good and yeah therefore he's good okay <laughs> um yeah so you know 85 pace 80 dribbling 80 defending 83 passing 77 physical you know, I'm a more of a possession style player, so you know that passing, you know, is very good for you know getting out of tight spaces. I know great, great stats, guys. Now we go on to Paulista. You know, it's pretty good. 80 physical, 83 defending, 73 pace. You know, it's a little bit fast, a little bit on the faster end. You know, we got Jimenez. You know, 82 physical, 86 defending. It's very good for this team. And you know, we got, we got Carvajal, the best uh, right back in La Liga. You know, 82 pace. Uh, 70 physical, 82 defending, 79 dribbling, you know, it's just very good. Now, we guys, let's go into the midfield. Here's the midfield, guys. You know, I mean, I got I got Partey, uh, the Champions League edition, but obviously not everyone could get that Champions League edition. But the 82 rated of Partey should cost you around 2K. Um, and then, you know, we got Rafinha, Vaz. Now, the only reason I have Rafinha here is so we could link up with uh, Alex Teles and also Palista. But if, if, if you want to cash out in the future, like for Marcelo, that, that's perfectly fine. Because if you get Marcelo, he's going to be La Liga and he's like the best left back in the world right now so you know it, it, would, it would make sense but it's like 100k something somewhere around there so i, I went with atlas tellers guys but here we go the midfield uh rafinha 70 pace 84 dribbling 76 shot 79 passing 62 physical and 69 defending he's pretty all well rounded now we got daniel Vaz. he's been very good for me guys he's pretty much your boxy box midfielder if, if you really want one uh so here's here you go guys 75 pace 76 shot 82 passing 79 dribbling 72 defending 73 physical every stat is over 70 guys like, i mean like what more do you need now we got thomas Partey. now i got the champions league edition of course uh but you know i mean his his other card is, is also pretty good guys I mean, 76 pa I mean 76 pace, 68 shot, 75 passing, 78 dribbling, 81 defending, and 83 physical guys. Now you might see him a little bit, you know, defensive or not. He always pushes up. I mean, just look at that high, high. He just, just works so hard for this team, and you know, I mean, he's he's been he's been phenomenal for this team, guys. I mean, we got Daniel Vaz right here. You know, for me, 29 games, eight goals, six assists. I mean, that's pretty good. And you know, Rafinha. You know, I mean. A little bit less stuff but you know he's still he's still pretty good he passes the ball very well gets you out of them tight spaces if, and helps you out in the build up play a lot and uh, now guys let's go into the attack here we go guys the attack we got gonzalo guedes malcolm and rodrigo on top guys now this attack has got me so much goals malcolm not so much but he gets me them assist though them assist oh my god bro he he could like he just he just runs 
he crosses it in. Wet is always head headers at it in, and it's like it's a for sure win, bro. It's a for sure win. But yeah, guys, you know Wet is, you know, 22 games, eight goals, three assists. I mean, that's pretty good to my standards because I'm pretty ass. <laughs> but yeah, you know we got uh, Rodrigo, 12 games, six six goals, one assist. He's pretty good, and they're all pretty pacey, you know. Uh, Malcolm, you know, he's, he's one of the slower ones, but if you if you put a hawk on him, yeah, it's, you're chilling, bro. You're just chilling. But yeah, guys, this 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 um this attack is pretty good. Now Guedes cost me cost me around 2k, Rodrigo around 14k, and Malcolm around 6k, exactly 6k. So I you know it's a little bit you know expensive, but all together, guys, this team should cost you around 50k, give or take, guys. But yeah, it's, it's just it's just so good. Like I don't know if the prices dropped, went up, I don't know, but I, like when I bought this team, it was around 50k. So yeah, guys, it's it's pretty much. A, this is pretty much it, the video. Uh, if you guys like the team, you know, just go ahead and do it. And um, let me go ahead and show you guys my tactics, just in case you want to copy them or something. So I go with a balanced defensive style with a with a five bar width and a and a four four bar uh, depth. And we go a possession style, you know, just just because you know I like passing the ball around. I, I like playing like how Madrid play right now. Um, you know, we got a pretty, you know, it's pretty wide, you know, pretty wide. Uh, we got plenty of players in the box, you know, plenty of players in the corners. And, you know, we got, we got, you know, a few players in the free kicks, you know. Um, and then, you know, it goes, I have a 4-3-3 formation, a 4-3-3-2. And, um, now I don't really use the attacking and, and ultra attacking, but, I mean, here, here's the stuff, you know, pressure on heavy touch, fast buildup. Um, oh, shit, I'm, I'm changing stuff. Okay. Uh, there you go, guys. Okay, so, here's the ultra attacking, constant pressure, that's... I do that sometimes when I'm losing in like the final like 20 minutes. I, I do this just so I can, I can score. And yeah, it's won me plenty of games. And many games I've won on the, on the last minute, you know. So that that really helps. Uh, on the defensive, you know, drop back possession, you know, just control the game. Uh, ultra defensive, the same thing, drop back, but we go with a long ball, you know. Uh, make it hard for the for the uh, attackers on the other team or stuff. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, guys. So that's pretty much the team, guys. Um, now something if you could you could do um, actually something I recommend is don't 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 go with constant pressure constant pressure from the start of the game like no player could keep it up throughout the whole game you know I've, I, I learned that my, I learned my mistake uh, doing that for like the first 10 games my players will always get tired like hella tired by like the 60 minutes so just don't do that guys always if you want to do like a little, a little bit of press just go with press after possession loss or pressure on heavy touch but don't go don't go constant pressure until like the last 20 30 minutes uh this is like my advice for you guys and yeah guys i mean that's pretty much it uh you can go fast build up you know we got we got the attackers with the midfielders to do, to do that uh but yeah guys that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you guys did like this team uh and you want to want me to make another team go ahead and drop a comment but anyways guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys